Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate MailChimp with Zoho. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at MailChimp.com or log into your existing account. Once we are at our workspace, we can go and check integrations in the, uh, in the left sidebar. Once we click on uh, these integrations, we can uh, uh, see that there is only Facebook, Google, and Survey, SurveyMonkey and Twitter are able to integrate straight away through MailChimp. So let's go to automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, let's go and click on integrations. Once this pop-up window show up, let's go to bottom left part and click on see all categories. Once we are in here in app integrations, we want to start searching for first app, which will be MailChimp. We pick MailChimp and now we have to pick the counterpart, which will be Zoho CRM. Straight away, automate.io is providing for us some, uh, uh, some uh, integrations uh, in popular or popular integrations. But if you won't be able to find the one that you're looking for, Keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with MailChimp first. Don't go with Zoho. So I'm going with the first one, random. And on the op uh, opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go with Zoho. Last thing you have to do, you have to click on Try It Now button. You'll get redirected to your uh, to automate.io login website, you log in to your automate.io account and you are done with integrating more basically a few clicks away from it. Now we can also use zapier.com, which is very similar app to automate. Uh, we also need to create an account here and click on the top left corner, which creates Zap. As I said, it's very similar. So uh, we also have to start with uh, the trigger app, which will be MailChimp. Let's go with MailChimp. Trigger event, we are picking manually as well. So let's go with a new audience, for example. We hit continue. Now we have to log in to our MailChimp account. Continue. And now we can test the trigger that we created if the connection between uh, MailChimp and uh, MailChimp and Zapier is okay. On the second action, uh, we want to we want to go with Zoho CRM uh, like this. Now we have to choose an event. So let's like maybe go with this one. Continue. And the last thing is we have to log in to our Zoho account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.